For those of you that have been stuck behind a desk working more sedentary lifestyle, those that have been working in their yard more, pulling weeds, working on their garden, even certain daily tasks like brushing the teeth, cleaning our dishes, require that kind of forward rounded, almost like a hunchback position. And a lot of people have been complaining of tightness, lack of mobility, and even pain in the low back and even the head, neck, and shoulders. Now, a lot of the times, not every time, but a lot of the times, your pain or dysfunction actually happens above and below the area of pain. And particularly where we wanna focus on today is this area here, known as the mid-back or thoracic spine. If you think about it, that area produces extension, flexion, and rotation. And if we are not mobile in that area and we go to produce that action anyways because we're human and we wanna do whatever we wanna do, then the body above and below that area starts to suffer or sacrifice, all right? So just because you don't feel tight in this area doesn't necessarily mean this three-step process is not going to help you. Okay, so all you really need is a little bit of space and a foam roller to do so. Now, you could do any of the exercises with a pair of lacrosse balls. So if you have two lacrosse balls and you nestle them together, tap them, tape them together, and that creates something called a peanut, okay, where you actually have a little bit of a valley to go right along the spine. That's what I like the most about this foam roller here is that you have peaks and valleys instead of a straight across foam roller where it constantly pushes against the spine. If that's all you have to work with, no problem. Do the best we can. All right, so the first one is just to roll up and down on the foam roller for no more than 60 seconds. So typically I see a lot of people go super, super fast and what we really need is to think about one inch of tissue is what you wanna roll in about one second of time. So if I set up my foam roller across this way and I lay back on the foam roller, I just wanna work that area of the mid back. So think the bottom of your sternum or rib cage and the very top of the collarbone here. That's all we want to start rolling. Okay, so you could put your hands crossed on your shoulders or even emphasize the amount of tension by raising your arms up here as well. Now what you want to do is just kind of creep and roll down at first and as soon as you want more tension you just kind of lift your hips up off the floor and then you can start to roll up and down through that area. So again, nice and slow and steady wins the race. No more than 60 seconds of time in through there. And again, foam rollers are not meant to break up scar tissue, it's just to relieve some soft tissue tension. From there is when we're gonna start working on improving some mobility. So same thing, is we're gonna actually go same spot, the lowest portion of the uh, ribs or sternum. We're gonna put the hands behind the head just to support the head and neck and then we're gonna slowly lean back. Now you wanna do that with an exhale. Okay, so breathe out as you lean back slightly, and you're gonna do two to three repetitions at each segment of your vertebrae, which is the parts of the back. Now to move the foam roller up, I'm actually gonna scooch my butt down about an inch. Right there is when I feel like I'm onto the next segment, and same thing, you're gonna repeat that same drill where you breathe out and you tip back into extension two to three times. Rinse and repeat and keep working your way down to work that foam roller up. You wanna tackle that entire area. Okay, from there is when we're gonna to start to rotate. This is actually a really good exercise uh, for the uh, chest as well. So with my uh, bottom leg nice and straight, my top leg is actually going to kind of cradle on top of the foam roller. And with my bottom arm straight out, I'm gonna make the top hand kind of clap that hand. And same thing is you wanna actually add a padded surface underneath your head. So if you've got one of these rectangular pads, you can use that, or you can use a couch cushion if you work at home. You're gonna take a deep breath in and breathe out as you turn your hand all the way out to the side. Ideal if you don't run into the wall, but just so you can see, you wanna make a, basically a letter T and eventually to emphasize the stretch, you can even draw the thumb or hand up to the sky. Why I have my leg nestled onto the foam roller is to prevent that leg from rotating upward, which is also what prevents that low back from rotating as well. So take your time through this exercise nice and slow. Should take you about four to five seconds to open up and two or three seconds to close back down. Okay, make sure you're actually pushing that knee into the foam roller the whole time to again, prevent some of that excessive rotation. 
So this one you want to make sure you do about 8 to 12 repetitions per side. Each side, knock that out and let me know how it goes. Now if you like the video, please add a like down below. If you can comment on whether or not this helped you and if you need to see something specific in the future, I would be happy to do some videos on that as well. And if you could share this video with a friend, a family member, or a colleague, I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much and have a great day.